Every death on the streets of London is an utter tragedy, and I'm deeply concerned about the rise in knife crime. It is, it is worrying to note that knife crime has been increasing in London every year since 2014, and it's also increasing nationwide. We must look to address this across the country. Our knife crime strategy and public engagement campaign recognises and responds to the disproportionality which you're referring to. We know that in London, 77% of victims of knife crime are male and frequently aged less than 25 years of age. We also know that almost half of all the victims of knife crime are from BAME backgrounds, 90% of offenders are male, and of these, 62% were from BAME backgrounds. There have been 80 knife-related homicides between the 1st of January and 26th of November this year. 50 of the victims were from a BAME background. Those figures should shock us all. A knife crime strategy has been structured to provide targeted responses and interventions to support our most affected young people, locations and communities, including the prioritisation of boroughs for additional support and seed funding. The police have regular operations targeting high knife crime areas to deter, prevent and detect crime using all the powers at their disposal, albeit with limited resources due to government cuts. I'm supporting the delivery of community-led solutions and delivering interventions at critical points to offer real opportunities to exit offending behaviour, as well as coming down hard on those who habitually carry knives. A knife crime strategy commits to enable and empower communities who are most affected by knife crime through a number of interventions, which includes a £225,000 seed fund to work with young people within our priority knife crime boroughs. The London Needs You Alive Knife Crime Campaign is a targeted campaign aimed at young people, communities and locations where knife crime is most prevalent. It's supported by influencers who we know have a large following from our young people who are most likely to be affected by knife crime. The campaign is also being supported by an anti-knife crime toolkit which provides prevention materials for all schools and community groups this will be available early next year. This campaign is just one small element of our response to knife crime. I already fund a number of additional innovative programmes aimed at preventing and dealing with knife crime, including a £2 million gangs prevention programme, a three-year youth intervention service in London's four major trauma centres, and a £1.5 million funding is also allocated to the London Gang Exit Programme to provide support to 300 gang members and those exploited by gangs. We must not and we will not give up on our valuable young people.